Buddy Scott Hilbert, and we're gonna sit here and write a song. Thanks for hanging out. Google is down in East Nashville. Thanks a lot, Google Fiber. Uh, so we're just gonna document our intrepid journey for posterity. Start now. Okay. All right. Thanks for having me, Corby. Yeah, man. I'm glad you're here. Well, we we talk a lot about books when we get together. Yeah. And uh, we talk about the uh, the West Coast. I'm writing down some ideas here. Oh, yeah, that's right. In the North 
Southwest. Shout out to T-Bone Barney up there in Seattle. <laughs> He's a Corby Linker fan. Seen him hey, come through town. I wonder, where the, I wonder where those shows were. When I lived in Seattle, I used to play them all, all the clubs. The Tractor and what, yeah. Chop Suey was another one. Um, the last few times I went there, I played the Triple Door, I think is where we went. It's been a while for me, so I, I don't know. I know the Tractor, but... I'm just writing down some ideas here. Just stuff that we're thinking of. It's kind of a, a Spanish flavor you've got going on there. Yeah. Scotty. Taking it back. I just read a pub. Uh, a book about the uh, the border. Mm -hmm. It's called Pesos. It's a friend of mine's uh, family story, Tijuana and San Diego. Mm. So I've been thinking a lot about sort of, you know, memories of Rosarito Beach and San Felipe. And, you know, it used to be that uh, Tijuana was, you know, Friday nights in high school. TJ. Really? Oh, yeah. Drive down to the border, walk across... Uh, Avenida de Revolucion. Wow. And just, uh, and now when I go back, I get this like, oh, you can't go down there. It's dangerous. Is it? Do you, oh, have you gone down to verify whether or not it I is? I haven't been down, but I mean, it's not like that was part of the fun, was like DJ. Yeah. That'd be a little wow. danger. Yeah, yeah. Um, that sounds so romantic from, from where I stand. You, you were going up to Canada? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Canada two Which days cool. drive. Yeah. Uh, well, we could write about uh, a reminisce, a reminiscence about the nights of TJ, but I would have to. You, I mean, also, feel free to lead this song, and I, and I'll do my best to chip in, whatever we need to do. Um, I'm saying if we end up doing that, the nights of TJ idea. It's kind of more your your steering the ship then. Yeah, yeah. Or borders in general. Borders. Um, I mean, borders. It seems like have become this contentious idea now. You know? Yeah. Borders. We need more borders. Put up the wall. Put up the. Uh, you know, pull out of the European Union. God, it's just. I don't know. When uh, I think when we grew up. Um, and I, I think I can speak for you a little bit. You're not that much younger than me, are you? We're definitely kids. Yeah, next year, right? yeah. So uh, it was like we grew up with Cold War borders, which were a real deal. Mm. You know, like you can't go into East Germany. And, uh, and then those fell down, and we've lived almost 30-some you know, years sort of in this, like, hey, we're all going to, you know, melt the borders and it's going to be a little easier and you know kumbaya mm -hmm. and then it seems like lately it's it's gone back that way sort of tribalism and and uh, there's something a little sad about that yeah um I don't what do I have interesting to, to, to add to that the borders are not something I think about a whole lot because, but I I do a little bit. I noticed that I would, like I would empathize with the border people like that were, like hey we're being overrun, yeah. and, um, but as a per like as a, as citizen of the world and a traveler, I've appreciated, a lot and benefited by, the ability to go anywhere and I t yeah. such that I take it for granted, yeah. like, um, even when uh, my wife and I went to Italy. Like a month ago, like I went to, I went to Italy as an undergrad, um, twenty years ago, and even then, um, it was different than now in the sense that a well a there were po there wasn't a phone in your pocket, so you were a lot more uh, beholden to maps and um, analog you know behavior, 
uh, but B, like people didn't like the ubiquity ubiquity of English <laughs> had yet to be. Um, whereas now, it's it's just a generation and a half later. It's like I feel like uh, I'm also thinking out loud. So this is rambly. Um, English, like the universalism, the universal nature of like English that everybody speaks, it has done a lot to even de-emphasize borders more. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. borders are one of the things that defines a border is like a shared group of, of shared language versus another shared language. That's interesting, and maybe there's something really cool in that. You know, like changing money. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's the currency here? Yeah. All right. Let's let's go to the money changer and and you know switch it up and and yeah like let's let's dive into their culture. Yeah. Let, let's try to figure out. Is it the phrases. inconvenience is part of the charm, right? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. The phrases, like the different. Yeah. The different. Even like the clothes, just like the food. Yeah. You're like in the adapting to it. That's why you travel, right? So yeah. so that you. Some of these things, um, so that you have to put up with some of these things in order, you know, putting up with and experiencing the same thing from a different perspective. Yeah, to be in Amsterdam and, you know, getting your guilders out. All right. <laughs> How yeah. many guilders is this? <laughs> yeah. Or, uh, yeah, no, that's interesting. And part of that, part of going to TJ back in the day was like, you know, I, I suppose they took dollars, but it just seems like. I mean, we were paying in pesos, right? Mm-hmm. Or if you're in, you know, up in Canada, it's the Canadian dollar. But uh, loonies. Is that what they're called? Loonies and loonies, lo- lo- loonies and toonies. <laughs> like that would be the two-pound equivalent. Oh, what are they called? Toonies. Looney. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So so Canadian. So maybe maybe uh, yeah, part of the romantic the, the romanticism of borders is that that yeah they they uh, you felt. It felt like more of a thing. Yeah. I mean, Europe in the last 30 years seems like it's it's gradually gotten to be like, you know, just one to the next to the next, euros, and how much is it changing from, you know, from one country to the next if you're not having to stop and do an exchange and, ah, well, just do your English, they'll, they'll you know... And there's no, there's not, a, there's no stopping at the, at the border anymore. Just keep going. It's all, you just keep going. Which is, yeah, which is great. And, as with everything, like something gained, something lost. You know, gained yeah. is like easier travel. It's just easier. It's, yeah. you, it's everybody speaks English now. We, Americans, don't have to. <laughs> we can be dumb. They come to our. They come our way. One of my uh, goals this year is to get a, get some French underneath me. Uh huh. Never took French, and uh, I feel like I, ca- I would like to, you know, have conversations in French. But also, it's just like the phrases, everyday phrases in English that are French. Mm. I feel like I don't have the confidence to say them out loud because mm. I like what's know, one pronunciation. Sure. Just, you know, it might be a menu. It mm. might be like an ingredient in a dish. And it's just things where you're like, oh, uh, that thing. You point at it, yeah. Yeah, it's like, no, no. That's in literature all day long. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things with books is you don't have to say it out loud, you know? Sure. And so you can just read it and like, okay. But... When we're when we're talking, it's like a different thing. You you sort of have to, you know, say the word. Say the word and, and uh, yeah. For the longest time, I used to say succinct, because that's how it's it succinct. reads. Yeah, until I was at a. I remember I was at a festival, and I was in the bluegrass band at the time, and I said that word. Why I would use that word to introduce a song, I don't know. Um, and my bandmate afterwards said, "Dude, you sound like a real asshole, man. It's, it's succinct." <laughs> okay. At least you don't sound pretentious. Yeah, that never. Um, I probably do without knowing it. Um, I feel like we got some, you know, we got some hooks in the water here. Yeah. So I have an idea. Yes, sir. You want to do an idea? Yeah, dude. So I love ideas. This is a. Uh, So let me just see if I have the uh, the idea here. Okay, 
so I have this song that I did a long time ago in my band Buckeye. It was called Amigo. And I always thought it would be like, dude, if I can get Willie Nelson to, uh, you know, it's sort of this, it's this ballad, you know, it's almost, it's not really a waltz, but it's this mm. real sort of, you know, kind of horse walking through the, uh, you know, the West trot, not even a trot, just like a slow, mm. and it's a, uh, it's a song about somebody passing, and he's, he's singing about, it might be a horse, it might be, you know, I, I think I wrote it about, uh, Maybe it was a dog, and then it was a friend, and then it was like, let's make it about any of these. And um, and I, it, it, I thought it was a cool song, and it probably needed some arrangement to like sort of, all right, let's let's put the craft into this thing and mm. you know whip it into shape. Um, and so, like twenty years later, like thinking about the the, the borders, you just think, yeah, kind of on my mind, like this this uh, Southwest thing. I was like, well, how do you follow up Amigo? You, 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 it's Amiga, right? You got to write Amiga. Yeah. So I'm trying to create this this you know feminine version of what I did before, almost like a not necessarily the same, but sort of a compliment or a, a, a kind of a companion to the to the the other one. Sure. And and so I have some ideas. If you don't mind, we could. Just, you get it? No, I love it. You might have some great. So this is like a, a, the companion song to go with Amigo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's it's very like right now it exists in this you know like it's stylistically um, sounding like a thing, mm -hmm. and it doesn't necessarily have to be there. It could totally like all right, let's we can depart let's that. Let's pull it and you know tweak and and uh, mess with it, but. It's got, I think it's got a couple verses, and it's got a uh, kind of a cool little chorus thing. Yeah. So maybe, maybe. Let's uh, hear it. So here's the. Uh, see if you can see the. I, yeah, I can see it. So, and it's got this little like. And forgive me if I'm. I haven't played in a while. But so I got. Dude, we're not here to impress.
I mean, I don't know what you need me for. That song seems pretty done. It sounds great. Yeah, you know, it needs like it needs a melody, like a better sort of m- melodic structure, uh-huh. like more consistent vocal. Uh-huh. And I think it might even need like this. Does it need a bridge or something to like kind of set it up for the outro? You know, like I'm I'm good at like that. Like all right, verse, chorus, and then you know like. It's what with verse, chorus, verse, chorus. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Or? I mean, kind of. Yeah, and it's. I feel like the craft is always that extra thing that is is like you take the ideas and then <clears throat> is there something that, that is sort of waiting to be, you know, kind of fine-tuned or, sure. you know, secret sauce or... Um, I mean, one of the things it has going for it that makes it um, less desperate for a bridge than some songs is that the chorus is so different than the you know it's like a key change really mm. um, so the chorus almost feels like a bridge in a sense because it's like whew, I mean this is my you know yeah, from yeah, my yeah. ignorant perspective yeah but um, I, I'm also just like yeah man let's uh if, if I can help take it up a notch meddle around and mess it all up and you can go back to the way it was at the beginning if it seemed better then I'm all, all for it I mean I tend to write songs with like the production in mind yeah that's one thing um, like being in Nashville songwriter town I'm still like I write it to, to like the way I want it to be in the studio the instrumentation mm. the sounds and I think that sometimes it's a liability because I'm already writing it like like it's Final product to me, mm-hmm. whereas, um, whereas, whereas, the uh, I think some of, like song the best songs, you know, they could be any genre. Like it could be any singer. It could oh, be for sure. And so I will always love you. Fine country song, amazing R and B hit. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. To your point. So how do you get it out of like the the image of? You know, it being a uh, you know a Western border thing, and or maybe that's just what it is. Maybe that's yeah. I would I would like no to, to me. I wouldn't worry about getting taking it away from that mm-hmm. if that's what it is because it is that right. Yeah. yeah. Um, not to say it couldn't be adapted by somebody else, but you know whatever. Yeah. You, know, you got to lock it into something, and um, there's also just like to me, and maybe you're different, but. There's just like a naive quality to songwriting that you're just, you don't know. Like, I mean, this is, you brought a song that's largely finished, but you came up with this somehow or another, you know, and it had the feel that it had. And, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, we, look at, we can take a look at it. Um, Amiga, I'm sorry, I don't think I caught your name. Maybe it's better this way. Just the same. The mescal. The barmaids and constables agree. I have a sweet tooth. It's funny. Um, are these constables a Mexican term for policemen? Yeah, you're right. Maybe it should be federales. Yeah. Or what's like the local town version of a federale? The internet work, I tell you. Yeah. The barm. Yeah, that's a good point. Constables is clunky. It sounds like the music man. Yeah. Let's, so there's a, there's a thing that we can tweak. <laughs> Spanish. It's interesting, too, that I've been known to play some Bob Weir songs, and uh, his cowboy, you know, he, he kind of he learned to play the guitar around campfires on, on a ranch, you know, mm. with Wyoming uh, cowboys. And sometimes I feel like like there's no shame in, in, you know, trying to write that song. I think Steve Earle once said, I want to write a standard a standard yeah. campfire song. Like, yeah. that's, as a writer, that's a pretty, and it's a pretty, you know, worthwhile if lofty Aspiration, yeah, because you know, it's a classic. Yeah, and, um, you, yeah, you want, you kind of want people to be able to 
take your thing and, and kind of make it their own. And, For sure. And uh, I mean, so why? And how many of those have britches? <laughs> good point. Um, uh, I remember one of my early, earliest like um, songwriting off, uh, off the grid validations was. I'd written this song um, about a snake handling church that I went to um, called Punkin Brown. And it was an after the guy, a real person that got bit by. Uh, I went to the snake handling church in West Virginia a number of times as an undergrad. I've like did this kind of. Uh, Where is it in West Virginia? Jolo, West Virginia, which is in McDowell County, like southwestern, like okay. the, the um, deep deep sticks. So yeah, like Kentucky. Right. Yeah. North right. At the Carolina, Carolina, Virginia. Yeah. 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 Um, but uh, in any case, uh, Punk and Brown, he got bit handling snakes in church and died, and his wife had died and the, the year before for the, from the same thing, and the custody of their kids was left to the state, and like, his church came under a lot of fire, and um, it, was, it was in all the newspapers at the time. It was like in 99 or something. Um, anyway, I wrote this song about it, and I was at a bluegrass festival one night, uh, my band at the time had played the festival and I was just walking around looking for a pick, you know, and I hear that song being played at a camp circle. And it was just like wow. amazing, amazing validation. But, so how, what was the, how did it get from, from you to them? Well, in that playing case, at the thing? The, I, yeah, I, I had played it. Um, it, it happened in a slightly inorganic way, which I found out later, which was, the guy, there was a DJ in Seattle, um, KBCS uh, is one of the NPR stations down there, and they have on the weekends a bluegrass show, and a, that's hosted by a longtime DJ, this guy named Pete. And Pete, it, I, we recorded it in the band, and Pete got the CD, and he played it, and he loved the song, and it was him in the song circles, so and he had brought it to the band. But that's great. But still, that's like, amazing. he learned, I mean, the point yeah. is, like, yeah, somebody else, when somebody else learns your song, you're just yeah. like that is so that's beyond almost that's like maybe better than a cut yeah you know in a way it's yeah. just like whoa yeah um I, I know yeah I learned lots of artists songs like I have this like weekly show that I'm doing and so like every week it's like a cover and part of the reason why I do this yeah. is to like not get rusty and um and also just like be constantly like trying to discover songwriting by mm -hmm. you know because you learn somebody else's song it's like they're you're in their brain a little bit yeah and the way that they think about chords and um, that goes into you a little bit and otherwise it's really easy to get for me like get into a rut of tempos chord pr progressions even like the way I, I like there's definitely a way that I play now that I'm always fighting to get out of yeah um, the the uh, with that in mind, you know the process of like when you when you're writing a song and you're in a band that's like you know your buddies and you, you guys play locally or regionally, and you never have the process of like a producer you know flying to town to like whip you into shape and yeah you know tell the guitar player that yeah you're not going to play on this we got you know hot shot coming in to, yeah you know but part of that I've always kind of longed for is the all right i listen to a bunch of your songs and here i'm gonna play some on piano and and like got some suggestions and we're gonna we're gonna chop that off and like the magic of seeing your your part of it all of a sudden in the hands of an expert i mean i've, I've had like very limited uh experience with that but w when 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 it's there it's like wow the belief in like the production process, or somebody who can truly shape something, you know, yeah. and uh, and I think that's part of, like when you said the rut of songwriting, I I sometimes feel like I would be happy with just doing it the way I do it, knowing that like I had somebody who could sort of like you know it's like an editor you know sure. a book editor like I get I get you I know where this needs to go and and. And then you just like sit back and be like, your mind's blown. Like, oh, that's it. You're yeah. right. It needed to go to a different key. Yeah. And then it, all of a sudden, it's like it's a, it's a different thing. Or, you know, that little, you know, special, you know, the pixie dust dust of like a, 
you know, a passing chord or like whatever these musical things are that you're like, yes, that, that thing works. Um, so if you had that, it's kind of like, yeah, I'll do my part. And then, you know, and you wonder, like, if Bono and, and The Edge are, like, sitting around writing an album, you wonder what whatever Daniel Lenoir or S Steve Lillywhite brings in to be like, all right, mates, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I this, like, you're, you're definitely... I love this. This is why I do this. It's, it's like your approach already is, even the way you're thinking about it, like, theoretically, uh, it's just so different than me. Like, I'm... Um, like, like you're right when so, like I, I was would that I had the advantage of having somebody else come along and go like I have a little bit once in a while but most of the time I'm like left to my own devices and like and that is um, another thing that's kind of fun about co-writing is that like you both agree that the song is done or like oh, to move on like that rhyme is good let's go didn't you know yeah 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 uh, whereas you can always uh, I can, I'm always like fuck, either surrendering or trying to beat a rhyme or an idea. Mm -hmm. um, I just had to write, sometimes I write songs on commission and I wrote one just this last week for somebody. Um, and then like the way it works is I'll have a phone conversation with them and tell me a lot of details about the person they want to write the song about yeah. or whatever, write it, t take it all down and then just kind of like start thinking. And it's like a song starts to come and um, it's like, okay, you, you, as, as soon as I get like a little idea I can write toward then there's something, you know, like to get the momentum going. But then really quickly, I'll come up against like, is okay, that's good. Could I beat it? And there, a lot of times it's a clock issue. Like, I'm like, I can't spend four days on this song. You know, I can spend six hours tops. And so I'm mm -hmm. just like, that's the surrender part of it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's really awesome and so rare when the, the, a song comes out quickly and it's like basically done yeah. I don't, I'm just rambling now well when that happens also knowing that it still has a life of its own like yeah you know the next person who sings it can, can like maybe tweak that I know Robert Hunter would freak out if you know somebody did that to his but but like you know um, it reminds me of being like I, I always took the approach that, you know, I'm not really good at remembering lyrics, let alone my own, mm. right? And so I've always been a little lazy about, like, all right, well, shoot, man, that would have been a really good live take, except I sang the first verse twice. Yeah. And uh, um, this isn't a flex at all, uh, internet world, but, like, when I... I we played some shows in Holland and uh, you know the first gig first set it was like you know we'd, we'd rehearsed a little bit but it, we, were, we weren't coming from the same part of the states we met up over there and it was like quick rehearsal hmm. you know nerves and not quite sort of locked in the pocket and uh, you know thinking about that it sort of threw me off with lyrics and guy came up to me at, at we were in Leiden and we were playing this seated show and it, you know, it wasn't a lot of people but it was like people were paying attention and this guy oh, you know it's a little rough you know maybe not uh, perfect but you know you got you know many gigs to play right yeah. yeah and I was like I'm like so yeah we were, we were a little little rough we'll, we'll get it together He's, and you know he, he said some, something like well maybe ease him into it you know maybe uh Maybe you you don't come out so strong, you know. I was like, okay, that's that's a good point. And then he said, and why why do you change the lyrics? And you know, I'm like, how do you know I changed the lyrics? Did you hear like you li listen to the songs? Yeah. And I was like, right. Why did I I change them? Well, because I forgot them. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having trouble with the connection. Please try again. It must have thought you said. Siri. Oh, seriously. Maybe. But, anyway. but it was like I forgot the lyric, and so I said something else. But, you know, he's listening to it like, well, that's different than the way it was when, you know, they, when yeah, they he was promoted the show, right? And, it, you know, part of that is like, well, I, I'm either going to forget it or I may change the lyrics because, you know, maybe the lyrics weren't fully baked when I threw together that self-done record, you know, and then mm -hmm. like... Two years later, it's like, yeah, that didn't really... Like, I, ah, 
change that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, can can a song be? Can it evolve? Like, like you know, I mean, it, it's it's hard with a book because you, you know you got to wait for the next press to you know fix a uh, a thing or yeah. whatever. But they people do that. You know, people are it. yeah. Every edition of Bleeds with Grass was, was different. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If there's 20 editions of Bleeds with Grass, he changed. Wow. The book is hugely different from its first printing to its last printing. Wow. Yeah. I love that. He was constantly editing stuff he'd already published. So you got to let so it go allowed. at some point, right? You yeah. got to say, all right, it's ready for, you know, to be tweaked and to be, you know, evolved, I guess. Yeah. I mean, to me, like, probably the recording, by the time you're recording it, that's to me set in stone at that point like yeah i wouldn't change a lyric afterwards well most because i'd just be like off to something else you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah. well uh i mean do you want to thrash around with your song a little bit and see if there's something else that we can scare out what do you think of so so it's verse chorus verse chorus and then we did a little like lead thing back into the verse um this is there like a key change? Is there a modulation? Is there a is there some kind of technique that that you know builds the uh, the tension a little bit to sort of release down the you know out in the outro? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I like the, the it's the breaks are fun in it. Um, the solo sections. Do you want to um, try singing it? I don't know the, the. I mean, I'm I'm not scared to, except that I don't know the melody enough. That's what I'm saying. Mm. It might just be kind of fun to, to like stumble on it, having maybe heard it once, and then be like, "Well, shoot." Okay, yeah, dude, let's let's it. be a fun experiment.
my pillow That well has drunk joy look at the song I'd be like okay what's this, what's the song about um, it's about a guy and it's just like a, it's kind of like a light take on a one night stand is that it ish yeah and it's it's got this like darkness to it yeah that I wanted it to be that you know Amiga you know she doesn't make it back and mm -hmm. is it is it like you know there's these these hints of cliffs and swans mm -hmm. and so it's like wait did something happen Mm -hmm. You know, like are those forebears of of you didn't make it home with the rest of the gang? Like, like is that enough? Did we did we like present the 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 gun in the first chapter and then in sure? The, in the, does it go off? Does it go off? Um, yeah, no, I'm just now realizing it because I'm an idiot. Um, but I, I wasn't. I just read the second verse. While I sang it, I wasn't listening to what I was singing because I was just holding on to your life. But now it's uh, yeah, that's clear. And uh, and there could almost be, I mean, is that is it enough? And or is it like, is it not enough? Like, is it does it need a like a third verse, or does it need something that that uh, like more like a story? Does it have? Is it is it a story song? And is it like? Um, no, I don't think it's a, it's, I don't think, I like that there's a little left to the imagination, you know, it's just, a, it, it's always nicer, I think. Yeah, you know, a, yeah. I mean, it's a great story song, it's also awesome, but yeah. most of the time, in all storytelling, it's better to not say everything. Yeah. You know? So I think they would tick that box. Yeah, the, um, one of my favorite story songs is uh, um, the name she gave was Caroline. I mean, you know, something happens in that. Yeah. And it's pretty clear, but it's it's like somehow it doesn't hit you over the head with it so much. It's just like. Well, I, I don't think he spells out what happens. It's just like she was so, so pure she came to the city and then she became a woman of the night and yeah she's fallen from grace it's like a lament but it doesn't tell you exactly that's what makes it so sad <laughs> yeah 
Um, and I hadn't thought about that with this, but I'm thinking it could be something like that. That sort of it's it, it's not really about her. It's about him. And then there's then she's in it. And then you know maybe this is like habitual for. Although it is about her. It's Amiga. It's titled after her. So maybe it is. Yeah, maybe it's still fermenting. Or maybe it's done. Who knows? The well has run dry. Is that a little bit lazy? No, I think I think that's great. Yeah, um, it works. I mean, that well has run dry. Uh, no tears on my pillow. That well. Let's drink to goodbye. I think it's. I mean, it's like. Dude, I don't, I don't know anything about songwriting. I just do uh, <clears throat> what feels right. I mean, I, you know, I, like I said, like I think that you could be like barmaids and constables. Like, that doesn't put me in Mexico, and I think that you might want to keep it as much as possible. Barmaids and constables sounds like we're in the UK now. Um, yeah, yeah. So you could, like, you know... Arguably tight. That's a good point. Sort that. Um, yeah, because mezcal, it's got to be more specific to the setting. Yeah, it's probably a Google thing. What is the barmaid in? Um, I mean, also, you know, if you uh, the mezcal we drink must have been 100 proof. This, is, this sweet tooth is kind of like, you know, it's it's clever. It's also uh, not clear that, like, you're sort of saying, like, I have a sweet tooth for alcohol. So there's, yeah, I can make that, con you know, obviously you can make that connection. Mm -hmm. um, but there might be a more, uh, there might be a, a line that just sort of says better what, um, the, why, like, that illustrates why the mescal was clearly 100 proof. Um, but that's just like, do we want to get surgical and go like start getting deep? Like, I feel like you wrote, wrote this song, and there's something about like that that's a bit sacred. Like, start trying to really t tweak on it really hard, then it just becomes. Uh, well, I, a, I, I don't think I've ever done that. Um, revisited somebody else's song and try to like really <laughs> get my hands in its guts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's it's cool. Does it beat Mexicali blues? Probably not. But does any song beat Mexicali blues of, of its kind? No. <laughs> I mean, Mexicali blues is a story song, right? Absolutely. And, yeah. Um, yeah. And it yeah. it also like it it doesn't do that suggestion thing. Like it it paints the picture all the way through. Yeah. Which, yeah. Yeah. Same with like. Uh, you know, Me and My Uncle is, is a great story cowboy song. Mm, I don't know that one. You know, um, what's another good one? The, uh, I mean, right, just thinking right. more like Bob Weir stuff, but like, yeah, I mean, you know. Me and my uncle, we ride down South Colorado, West Texas bound. We stopped over, you know, me and my uncle on the run, mm. you know. I step it down to Mexico, you know, with the gold, and there's a lot of verses to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it it is a you know a longer narrative, um, certainly more than uh, than two verses. El Paso is another one. Sing me some El Paso. I didn't get
dashing and daring, a green drink he was sharing with wicked Felina, the girl that I love. Yeah, it's Marty Robin, right? So in anger I challenged his right for the love he made it. Down went his hand for the gun that he wore. The challenge was answered in less than a heartbeat. The handsome young stranger lay dead on the floor. Okay. Yeah, there's. No Uh, would happen with uh, the Amiga what would be a well let's run dry let's drink to goodbye Amiga Insada is lovely this time of year this nice the cliffs that we dove off like swans alive with no fear um, love the cliffs that you dove off because that sets well okay maybe that was the maybe she got a cliff diving accident um, I think that you could probably beat alive with no fear um yeah, 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 so Amiga, Amiga Ensenada is lovely this time of year Cliffs that we dove off like swans You know, there's some other words that are gonna like sort of bolster. I'm not sure what they are yet. I mean, it works, but it's like well, let's the, get in there and try to do it. Then you didn't make it home with the rest of the gang. You know, like what is? Amiga Ensenada. Amiga Ensenada is is like the right thing because of the cliffs and stuff. Mm -hmm. This is just cool. It sounds great. Amiga. Sonata. Sonata. It's lovely. It's a picture of what's so lovely about Ensenada this time of year. Like, what? Why are they like? Do the cliffs catch the light in a certain way? Is it the way the breeze comes in off the ocean? Um, is it like if we could leave the word cliffs in there? Ensenada the is this lovely at this time of year. The cliffs that we, the cliffs that we dove off. Like that's yeah. It should be. It's probably lovely all times of year. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. What is? That's a good question. What is this time of year? Like that, I think that's a good place to uh, like, right? Like, like this time of year, and well, then, then what time of year are we talking? About? Right? It should be intentional. Uh, yeah. Or, or something should support this time of year. That's what I think. Something that should be like, and it, yeah. but it doesn't have to be. Um, it should mean you know intentional can also mean something that rhymes with year. <laughs> The yeah. cliffs that we dove off, the, you know, I don't know. Let me just, like, get a little cheeky here. The right of bread. Tear. I mean, it could be a tear. But... We already sort of did that, though, a little bit. Yeah, the tears on my pillow. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. 
clear, like the water is clear. Um, I mean, you inside is lovely. Yeah, clear, yeah. like it's. Um, the future was clear, or uh, the, the feeling was clear. I think that, you know, it's sometimes it's nice to, like, in a, for me, in a lyric, um, have an idea lyric and then, but pepper it with really concrete images yeah. because it's the images that people, that help people see, you know, and it's the ideas that yeah. sort of help a song maybe take root. But if we can like, cause you have this, like this cliffs that we dove off. So I'm ready to see the cliffs. So this time of year, it's clear and not foggy, right? Okay. Yeah. Great. So maybe that image should be something, you know, that like swans you know it could be like water so clear but maybe mirror mm. From which we dove. Maybe I saw it is lovely. This time I hear the cliffs that we dove off like swans. Break, uh, you know, breaking glass, mirror, something about the the action, you know, or the. Mm. I, I, I like I mean the mirror is the best idea yet so far um, you, you like try, mirror? I, yeah for a rhyme it's nice because um, there's something you know you can make water can have a quality like a mirror yeah it's, it's lovely this time of year the ocean the mirror Yeah, there's there's something about the mirror too that like seeing back reflection and also like heading towards it. There's sort of an, a a danger, like you know, mirrors break. Yeah. The water. The the. Uh, the tyranny of the mirror. <laughs> Take a knee break. Show. Breeze. 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 Breeze.
this isn't right, but like the cliffs on the ocean, like cracks in the mirror. But something like something kind of like yeah, that's that's uh, it's not that terrible, but it's like a little clunky, imagely wise, but. The cliffs that we, I, I want to keep that dove off thing, if we can. Also, whatever, this is all, you know, we could scratch any of it and keep the song just as it is. We're just playing. We're just playing. Just playing. Just have fun. And Sada is lovely this time of year. The ocean, smooth as mirror, the cliffs that we dove off. Did you have a song in the trip, or how do you know what's the connection to that? It's just my favorite movie. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's like, yeah. Good enough. My favorite movie ever. Um, also, because it was just like, it's such an unusual movie that is really successful, but doesn't follow screenwriting rules. I don't think I saw it. It was uh, originally... I mean, it's Winterbottom is a guy that's kind of like famous for like cranking out movies, but this the criticism is that his the movies would be better if he spent more time. Ah, uh, okay. Um, but I did, and I didn't know this when I first watched it because it was released in America as a feature, but it was created as a feature from uh, a television series of the same name, same footage. So the same story was cut down into a feature. I mean, it was originally like 10 episodes. Oh, I got you. So, um, it's, all it is is just like the charm of those two men. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of improv, improvising, uh, clearly, cool. but it still has like a, yeah, an arc. And also probably I can relate to the Coogan character. Um, <clears throat> Mika and Sada is lovely this time of year. The ocean is we dove off that's that we dove that we dove off alone in the mirror like a word that has multiple cylinders or, or uh, syllables too sure where that that final syllable is the is the, the rhyme can you think of one well one that just popped in my head is it has nothing to do with it but yeah, career yeah. you know uh -huh. but um as just as an example sure um cashier Career, appear, 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 appear. Bobby Weir, <laughs> Happy New Year. A 
wind shear. Or something super pretentious, like a foreign phrase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Can I tinker with this? Yeah, yeah. These things, this guy. Yeah, yeah, they're they're so cool. They're pretty hard to find now. I have a Nord, and it's so unfun to play. I mean, I have I have a piano at the house, but it's like it's not. You know what I mean? It's not in the, the like the studio sort of. You know, record play. You know, you got to bring the stuff to it. Yeah, and it's massive. That's why I uh, got this. You know, thing that's not inspiring to look at, but um, is incredibly functional because it just does what it needs to do. Yeah, and it sounds yeah. amazing, and I can yeah. plug patch a zillion sounds into is it, it. Weighted keys, weighted keys. It, it's in tune. It does yeah. everything right. Yeah. It just doesn't have the charm. This doesn't have an organ setting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No settings. I mean, I'm just, I'm sitting here struggling, so. I think we're on to something. I mean, I think that that's the, you know, trying to unlock the, uh, we won't know until we try to pull this thing apart and wrestle with it. Yeah, I mean, I, the, the, I, I don't know. I'm just like this. This song is clear. It's. it's I think barmaids like and there. constables is definitely like ripe for like. Okay, what, what are the those? Are, what are the replacement words for those? Like that, you know. I mean, the federales is the the obvious angle. Yeah. Um, let's call. We must have been drinking. Yeah, 100. I mean, what's a barmaid? What's a barmaid in uh, in uh, Espanol and. We have the internet now. Oh, we do? Yeah. So let's just do um, 
federales. Los federales is okay. We'll put a line through that one. We are done with you. Constables. Please. The maybe it's a maybe it's a it's a Mexican word or you know Spanish word or something specific. Camarera is a is Spanish for bar, bar maid. Camarera. Camarera. It might be too nice. long. Mm. Camarera. Camarera. Tex-Mex. Camarera? Camarera? That's a rough one to nail. Camareras y federales. <laughs> Let me get rid of that E. Let me do that. Then you get the little bit of the internal rhyme, which is nice. E with uh, agree. Ooh, yeah. If you if you changed out um, federales for a two syllable word, it would flow so nice. Camareras e dun dun agree. I have a sweet tooth. Sheriff. Alicia. Uh, judges? What? Judge? I'll go see you. What about um, judge? Uh, Juez. 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 The judges, the feminine judges agree. <laughs> a funny <laughs> idea. I mean, a funny idea. And you would get it, you'd get it has the two syllable Juesas. The camareras y juesas agree I have that I have a sweet tooth. Las camareras y juesas agree. I have a f I'd like the challenge it puts on the uh, the listener. I mean the I mean also just from a practical perspective, so probably a lot of people won't know what a juesa is or a camarera. But it doesn't matter because it's just like it's it sounds Spanish. It gets the point across, and true, it does true. it does mean the thing. So it's kind yeah. of fun. It's like well, that, there's a little depth there. Los camareras. It's, it's a mouthful though. Los camareras. Los camareras. Camareras. I bet it's a pretty word. I don't know. Camareras. Camareras. Los, los camareras y juezas. Agree. I have a sweet tooth. All right, we'll, we'll stick it in there. I like it. And then what was the other? Um, we're still on this cliffs, alive with no fear. Could still be fear. Um, cliffs that we dove off like swans. Cliffs that we Water. dove off like swans. Into water like mirrors. Beautiful with right. no fear. Water. Alive. Into um, water so clear. Amiga Ensenada is lovely this, this time of year. The cliffs that we dove off. Memory so near. But you could say, okay, okay, you could say, uh, Amiga Ensenada is lovely this time of year, but the cliffs that we dove off like swans are like shards in the mirror. Or like shards in a mirror. Because now he's thinking back, like, hmm. that's not bad, because then it's like the cliffs were, I don't know what happens next. Shards in the, or a, uh, or whatever. But of it's, a mirror. But say, but the cliffs that we drove off like swans. Because then you're like, it's lovely this time of year. And then it's like, now we have a new idea. But the cliffs that we dove off like swans are like shards in a mirror. Um, I guess it's not implied that we not... The, uh, the shards imply that the mirror is broken, but we're not saying that. Maybe that's okay. It's a good, uh, yeah. But you did to make it home. Cliffs that we dro dove off like swans. Or shards of a mirror. Get home. Nice. 
There's another thing that uh, I, I'm always like, I, this is always always standing out to me, so I'll just say it. But it's just like grain of salt. Um, the, I'm always trying to make the the rhymes, you know, or the rhythm of the sent- of the lines, be in have like a rhythmic um, consistency, and it, like maybe I iambic, um, but like. You know the cliffs that we dove off like swans are like shards in a mirror. It kind of goes, da, 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 and the, but when it might come on, um, you didn't make it home with the rest of the gang. You didn't make it home with the uh, with the rest of the. It's kind of like I want one more word in yeah. there. Yeah, because I I drag the you mm. because of that. I go, mm. you didn't make it home, but it is a mm. little bit. It's it's a little bit um, clunky. So I, I agree with you. Like generally, I think the more musical on the page it is, it just it makes it more musical. Even when you sing it, you don't have to do like the little things to make it work. Um, and the didn't is sort of like you didn't, you know, like it's sort of a hard thing too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you didn't make it home. It's like it doesn't have a. It's not musical. It's not as musical as it could. It's another way to put it, but. Um, The cliffs that we dove off like swans. Leave shards of a mirror. Like, does it need to be like That's the cool. cliffs? Because the cliffs are the cliffs shards, or is it like cliffs sit? Like, what are the shards? Yeah, I mean, in my mind, it was like the cliffs were the shards, but and I'm and I'm like, I can picture. You know, when I see shards of glass, they're like, and that kind of looks like a cliff. That's really uh, like yeah. caveman thinking. It could be, a yeah. Bit, but um, I don't think it's incredibly elegant. But I like the I like the image. I'm just trying to think like how like what article. You know, um, what does the shard apply? Yeah, the to? cliffs that we dove off like swans. It's so beautiful, mm. and then it's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? Like, like, yeah. What is the shard? Like, cr- created shards, or or we are shards. Like, what are the shards of the mirror? I mean, you could make the shards of the mirror. Okay, so the shards, the mirror implies a memory. The cliffs are this terrible memory because she died on the cliffs. We're implying. So you could explain that in the next line and be like, it has a little bit of like a '70s Acapulco. You remember how Acapulco was like the that was tourism Mexico with cliff diving and for Hollywood yeah Yeah. 60s 70s like mostly 60s yeah and those cliffs down there were that memory yeah I'm just thinking about that now and you know that's where the hoi polloi from Hollywood were going down and hey Acapulco yeah Acapulco gold what is that that doesn't that was so 71 new riders yeah. Peter Rowan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now it's not, nobody's thinking about Acapulco, but... No. But, but back then, but it has that, it sort of feels like that. Yeah. Cocaine and bikinis. and Totally. Yeah. And it was the cliffs. I mean, that was where yeah. they did, like, the wild world of sports, ABC, T, you know, yeah. the cliff diving. Sure. You know. Um, yeah, well, this is good. So you could say, like, you know... <sighs> Inst- you know, and like instead of saying like became shards of a mirror, you know, like became or it's it, we're real close. I'm just trying to reconcile this with that, and it, it's it's I feel like it's a word, like it's mm. so um, just a little finesse. So moving on to this, you didn't make it home with the rest of the gang. Forever I wake up alone with my face in the sand. You know, sand and beach and all that seems to work. Yeah. The rest of the gang. But we, yeah, we got to get this here. It needs to be more musical, as like you said. And you could say, I think you could, I think that you could make a better picture there. Like, um, 
instead of you need to make it home with the rest of the gang, you like we we spent all night in the arms of you know in each other's arms, uh, but when the sun came, I don't know. Um, something like when he 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 wakes up, she was never she never she wasn't there. No, that's not right. It's like, yeah. I, also, I like I like that. Um, you didn't make it home with the rest of the gang. Um, you might be able to find a better rhyme with sand too, or not. I'm not sure. Uh, there's also a little metaphor there, like lifestyle, the gang. Like, there's always one that you know is a casualty. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, you know, like like the 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 nostalgia, the sentimental. You know, there's something missing, and she's that missing piece. And it, it, there's a little bit of violence and sort of tension that is jarring, which I like. Yeah. And then, um, and I, I don't mind forever. I wake up alone with my face in the sand. It seems to have a cadence. Great. But but like yeah, musically. Rhythmically, like yeah, great. The rest yeah, you're right. It's just like there's a little bit of like a herky jerky. Why? Why didn't you make it home? Yeah. Is it a question? Or uh, because you didn't make it home with the rest of the gang, or. When you didn't make it home with the rest of the game, or uh, every because uh, because there is like uh, there there's a uh, inference of dreaming and sleeping and like waking up and mm-hmm. um, which is always nice. I love dreams and songs. Sleeping and waking, always, always solid go-tos. Why didn't you make it? Why? Oh, I'll ne- and I'll never know. You didn't make it. Left you behind. <laughs> the mirror, and you know, like it, it almost. You could get into sort of like, you know, sort of cocaine casualty a little bit <laughs> lifestyle with the mirror and the Acapulco. And Acapulco is a great word, too. There's somewhere in, in there for it. Yeah. Because we got Ensenada. Turn is home. Is it home? I mean, maybe a two syllable home. You didn't get to return with the rest of the gang. I mean, that musically fits better. You didn't get to return with the rest of the gang. I mean, that that's kind of where we want to be, right? It, uh, yeah, or you could say, or didn't, you didn't return, uh, oh, and oh, you didn't return with the rest of the gang. Um, that would also work. So maybe you didn't get to return with the rest of the gang. Yeah, it's, it's mu- more musical now, for sure.
Hey, good story, by the way, your email. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Is that, like, uh, is that, like, is that a thing, you know, fiction? Is it? Oh, um, nonfiction. Are we supposed to know? I think that most, just, like, well, most of my stories, they're sort of rooted in something that really happened, and then it's a little, yeah, yeah, little yeah, fictitious. Yeah. yeah, I just made the uh, the connection to, uh, or the you know, potential connection to, but yeah, it's, but really, you know, just as a as a you know story uh. as a narrative, you know, very you know, very. Uh, well put together thanks man enjoy thanks. it thanks I hope everything's you know everything's okay everything's yeah good. it's good to process stuff and, you know whatever I'm glad it I'm glad it landed yeah it landed it landed <laughs> um, I think this is already improved yeah I think we're I, I, lo- I love yeah it's uh, we're we're on a, a path it's on a journey it's on a journey. Um, how are you doing on time? I mean, we. I got a little. I mean, I'm. Okay. I, I budgeted till three. There's okay. always, you know, stuff that I can do and you can do too. Do, um, you, do you have anything like any, you know, um, do you have a, an idea, or do you want to do you want to toy with something else I got? Or I think that we've kind of. I think we should make this one our guy because okay. we put some time into it rather than I don't know if, how far okay, cool. I'm not very fast so if we yeah. start now then we're going to have a half song and then that's always like I'm, I try to, it's nice to finish something you know then you're like done yeah you do you want to um, is there anything else we need to what about structural well I was going to say like do we want to have a little bridge in here because if you do then it is like and sometimes a bridge is like two lines and it's like ooh like I try to keep my bridges I'll, I'll super short. Let me show you what I had in mind. Now, it's not really a bridge, but it's like a, I don't know, maybe a device that to me was doing something to like um, build the, the outro. And it's, it, all it was was, so um, I think it's on that. Okay, so after, so verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then we were doing like a solo thing, which is, you know, it could be, you know, just a return to that theme, or it could be like a true, you know, kind of... That's for producer land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it, just for for the, the structure of the song, that instrumental part could be over the verse, which is also like an intro, mm-hmm. those bars, and then... We were we were going into the uh, we were landing in a chorus. So yeah. it's like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, instrumental, chorus. And then what I was thinking it could be is a chorus that does a double and then it kinda ends with like a you know, just some kind of repeat that keeps you on the cliff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then you go back down, and then it's the it's the outro is basically the same as the intro. So it would it would, it would land on the you know. Out of the, out of the chorus, right there, like uh, out of goodbye. Yeah, is that what you're thinking? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So like, if there's a solo, then it goes.
that, I think that's really cool. That does a thing. I just don't know if that's the thing or if it wants to do... I mean, it's real simple. Yeah. But it, it does kind of like, whoa, we're, we're, we're like doing a thing. Yeah, it feels like a big ending idea. And yeah, I think yeah. it's really cool. So it goes, it go, we go intro, I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, intro, verse, chorus, chor- verse two, chorus, break, chorus... Double chorus. Du- double chorus, outro thing, With and then the outro. Thing, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then the uh, the outro. Yeah, I think that's cool. Um, I think that what is, is there, I mean, you can also just do this in production land, but what is the, is it four bars of E? Is that phrase irregular against a regular like, because there's extra, like, you could play the phrase so it didn't line up with I, it, the downbeats of that chorus every time, which would be kind of cool. What if it were, like, a different time signature? Mm. Like a, like a... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. something like that might even make it... I think that's workshop. great. I mean, that's still in the same time signature, I think. It might be. Yeah. <laughs> but that sounds great. Uh, my brain doesn't go in That's it. That's it, man. That, that's cool. Yeah. Maybe that's, maybe that's it. It's like the... I've never even heard of that or done that in any song. Just like... Is that a crescendo? Like, what is it? Is yeah, it's there a, a crescendo. There's yeah. a musical term for it. That works for um, me. But maybe, maybe that, like, I hadn't thought about that, but it is sort of like you're at the cliff and you're like, ah, ah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Almost, and then it's just like, yeah. And I, I like that the go. song, I mean, it is a tragic song, but it's, it also has that, like, lazy, sunny, sandy, beachy, Mexicali, borderland vacation vibe. Yeah. The music sounds like that. Yeah. yeah. And it also, it, it seems like the, the character is like, it's almost, it, it's as if they're just sort of resigned to this sort of, you know, but like not devastated by it. Somehow they're able to live with it. Yeah. But like, it's it, it, it kind of like a, not a Papa Hemingway sort of thing, <laughs> but, but sort of a... You know, like a just gonna ride it out. And it yeah, is what it is, and fear and loathing in Las Vegas mm. kind of feeling to it. Like there's not really any consequences. Yeah, in a just... way, this poor girl died. Yeah. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm forever in this. My head's in the sand. I'm forever sad. Yeah, I'm, but I'm, gonna, but I'm what is, we're moving. Let's on. drink to goodbye. Let's, yeah, we're gonna drink I think to it's, it. It's great. <laughs> um, can we? Can we? Do it all the way through. Yeah, let's do it. Um, you sing it in, uh, okay. in and I'll, I'll comment if you want to do this. You do the intro and the outro, and I'll maybe do the solo section. Okay. And then do a. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it can be a short solo. It can be one time through. Whatever. And then. Um... Just in that little space, but before the second verse, I feel like it needs to have that theme. Yeah, no, I think that's great. Go back to the, um, the theme is. It would be kind of fun to have like the harmony too. Gosh. Oh, the the guitar harmony part. Yeah. yeah. What are we, the Eagles? You taught me that. I could. <laughs>
All right. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, take, we'll do take one, and then uh, if it doesn't work, then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I'll, try, I'll back up a little bit. All right. Yes, you are poor. 